Hello, sometimes we have customers at NovaWorks Job Center that are looking at their LinkedIn profile and notice there's an option for converting their profile into the creator mode. Is this the right choice for you? Let me provide some information so you can make the decision. The purpose of the creator mode is to increase your reach and influence on LinkedIn by providing additional content and making it more accessible. In addition, LinkedIn will give you increased access to analytics as well as access to LinkedIn Live, which is the ability to do podcasts on the platform. Now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to contrast the two profiles and then we can easily see how they might be different and which one would be best for you. Right here, we have the regular profile and over here, the creator profile. Uh, in both cases, it starts with the name and the headline. Those are both still very important. And beneath that on the regular profile, you will see the number of connections. These are people that you've connected with or who have sent you a request and you are first degree connections with them. Below the connections area is the about, which is where you provide a summary of your qualifications and experience and the value you can bring to an organization. And below that is the featured section. And these are uh, content that you have created and you want to highlight. They could be blogs or articles. They could be a video, or it could also be a presentation that you have given or developed. And the section below that is activity, and the activity shows any time that you have responded to someone else's post, if you have made a short post or poll of your own, anything like that will be under the activity section. Now, the order gets changed a little bit as we move to the creator mode, but before we get to the change in order, one of the exciting parts about the creator mode is they have a section right up top that says talks about and there's hashtags and these are um, topics where you are an expert and if someone is looking on LinkedIn for people who know um, or can present on X or they're trying to find people who know X, um, the hashtags makes it easy for searchability and your profile and your content is more likely to come up. Notice here that instead of connections, the focus is on followers. Followers are people who have access to see every time you post something, but they are not necessarily a first degree connection. Someone still can become a first degree connection, but you'd have to drill down a bit under the more button. Now here is where the uh, order changes. You'll notice that the first thing up is featured, that content that you have created. And below that is the activity, either smaller version of content that you've created or how you have reacted um, or assisted other people on the platform. And next is the about section. Now, which one is right for you? You need to spend a little bit time thinking about that. The regular profile over here is going to focus more on your background and your experience, whereas the creator mode is going to focus more on your content samples and showing what you can do. Regardless of which choice is right for you, we hope that you will be thinking about creating content on LinkedIn so that you can show social proof of your great credentials. And what you can do will also drive traffic to your profile and get you noticed. Any additional questions, chat with the career advisor.